Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Once again, I'm at the Rusty Pick, ready to spend some legendary scrip. We are going to be buying 25 ranged weapons and spending 2,500 legendary scrip. So let's try a little reverse psychology on the purveyor today. So give me the worst thing that you have. I don't want anything that's usable. I want total trash. And my prayers were answered. Hmm, well, that didn't work. Okay, we have a nocturnal 10 millimeter pistol with limb damage and damage resist while reloading. I don't care for nocturnal. It's bonus damage only half the time. Limb damage, eh, that could actually be useful on something like this. It does less damage. So if you're looking to cripple enemies rather than, uh, you know, slow them down before you kill them, that could be useful. Damage resist while reloading is only useful if you are not wearing armor. So this is a miss. Next up, we've got an assassin sal salvage the Saltron head, re replenish AP with each kill, and plus 50 damage re resist while aiming. Okay, well, I don't care for these weapons at all. I've tried using them, and I just, yeah, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't see the appeal. Assassins, well, I guess if you're going to use this in PvP, uh, okay, well, good luck to you. Replenish AP with each kill, that could be a useful effect in some situations. That third star is useless. Overall, this is just garbage. Next up, we've got a Hunter's Missile Launcher with uh, weapon speed and damage resist while reloading. Well, that third star, like I've said before, only good if you're not wearing armor. <laughs> I can't imagine uh, needing a special effect to kill animals, but that's what you have. Faster fire rate, um, I don't know. This has, I know you can get the multi, uh, I think you can modify this to hold more than one missile. So I don't know if that faster uh, fire rate would actually do anything, but overall, this is just garbage. Next up, we've got a Zealot's Handmade, damage while aiming and reduced weight. Zealots, you know, it could be good if you're at Scorched Earth uh, on the Scorched Beasts and uh, on Scorched. Other than that, it's not not that useful. Damage while aiming, if you're not playing Nevats, that's actually a really good effect. Reduced weight, uh, that's fine. I'd rather have an effect that actually helps uh, helps me do more damage, maybe uh, faster reload, something like that. But uh, yeah, it's good for uh, good for keeping the weight in my stash box uh, while I wait to script this. It looks like asking for trash is kind of getting us trash, so let's ask for something good. Give me something amazing. Uh, no. Nocturnal 10mm pistol with uh, plus 50% VATS hit chance and stealth field. Okay, well, stealth field, I don't think it's any good. VATS hit chance, that's a really good effect. I like it, but again, we are doing nocturnal, which is damage half the time, which, no thank you. Next up, we've got a Gourmand's railway rifle with weapon speed and reload speed. Okay, well, Gourmand's is a mid-tier effect, so... That's actually decent. Weapon speed on this, I think, is a little questionable. It fires so quickly that with weapon speed on a railway rifle, you can't really fire one shot. At least I have never been able to. I can uh, fire two shots. That's the minimum. So I don't care for weapon speed on this, but it's not bad. Reload speed, this only holds 10 rounds. So faster reload speed, that's actually a good third star. Next up, we've got a Gourmand's Pipe Revolver with critical damage and damage resist while aiming. Okay, mid-tier effect again. Critical damage, I like that star. That third star is completely useless. So overall, this is going to be a pass. Next, we've got a Furious Combat Rifle with weapon speed and damage resist while aiming. This is a good starter commander weapon, I'd say. Furious is okay. I mean, if you, if you have it as an automatic, Furious is actually decent. Uh, weapon speed, that's actually good too. Faster fire rate's a nice thing, but that third star is garbage. But this would be an okay starter, starter commando weapon. Next, we've got a bloodied assault rifle with VATS hit chance and weapon breaks slower. Okay, bloodied, that's a good effect. Uh, VATS hit chance, that's also a good effect. Weapon breaks slower, these don't break particularly quickly. They're kind of just an average breakage. So I don't think that third star is all that great. It would, I guess, allow you to run without gunsmith uh, if you want to do something like that. But overall, this is, this is okay. We're starting to trend in the right direction. Let's keep it going. Two shot pump action shotgun with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. Third star, unless you're running uh, no armor, that's not any good. Critical damage is actually really good. Unfortunately, with shotguns, if I'm... I believe with shotguns, with two shot, it only gives you one extra pellet. So you end up with nine pellets instead of eight. At least I think that's the case. So two shot on a shotgun is actually not something that you want. Next, we've got a Stalker's Harpoon Gun with bash damage and 90% reduced weight. Okay, the only thing good about this is the 90% reduced weight. I guess you could bash with it. They have a pretty high base damage, so... Bashing probably gives you a, a decent damage if you build it out that way. Uh, stalkers, on something like this, Stalkers could actually be really good just because they have a short range. They're not super accurate, so getting uh, plus 100% VATS accuracy could be good. Unfortunately, the Stalkers effect is really unpredictable. So overall, I wouldn't, wouldn't want anything to do with this weapon. I'm starting to feel like these uh, all these uh, rolls I'm getting are personal. Like the Purveyor saves up just the worst trash for when I show up. I don't know. 
Let's see, a troubleshooter's 10 mil submachine gun with limp damage and agility, although this kind of proves my case. Damage to robots is enemy specific, I'm not interested. Limb damage, I guess if you're hip firing with something like this, uh, you know, spray and pray, limb damage could be good, you could end up crippling your enemy, so that's actually not a terrible second star, depending on how you use the weapon. Plus one agility, not all that useful, overall this isn't something I want. Next we've got a troubleshooter's plasma pistol, god I'm getting like... Two weapons in a row. I keep getting a pre same prefix, two, two weapons in a row. Anyway, troubleshooters with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. That third star has shown up way too often. I don't think it's useful really at all. Critical damage, that's a good second star, but again, enemy specific. No thank you. Next, we've got a Ghoul Slayer's Gamma Gun with that's hit chance and damage resist while... Jeez, what's with, with, what's with the resist while doing something? Uh, give me different third stars. How about reduced AP cost or faster reload or, I don't know, something I could use. Crit refill. How about that? Uh, anyway, damage to ghouls, we don't really need that. I don't know how this would do. I don't think this will do that great. I mean, they're not, they're kind of immune to radiation damage, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, uh, ghoul slayers, don't really want that. Vats hit chance is good. Other than that, everything else is just trash. Next up, we've got another nocturnal. There we go. Nocturnal with limp damage and movement speed while aiming. Uh, yeah, that's a trifecta of something I don't want. Uh, nocturnal damage half the time, don't want that. Limp damage is fine if you're crippling. Other than that, it's not useful. And movement speed while aiming... I don't find that useful at all. Next, we've got an Aristocrat's Cryolator. Replenish AP with each kill. And again, damage resist while reloading. Jeez, get rid of that third star. Uh, Aristocrats, I think it's a really good effect uh, if you have max caps. If you're, if you're a higher level player with max caps, this is actually a really good effect. Replenish AP with each kill. This actually, if you're running it as a Vats character, that's actually a pretty good star. Uh, these have a pretty high AP cost. Unfortunately, that third star doesn't reduce AP. So overall, this is not something I'm going to keep. Let's continue the pain. Mutant Slayer's crossbow with critical damage and agility. Well, at least it's not damage resist while, well, of course it can't be. Well, actually, I guess it could be damage resist while reloading, but at least it's not that. Mutant Slayers don't really want something that's enemy specific. Again, critical damage is good. Crossbows overall aren't that great though. So this is uh, something I'm gonna throw away. Next, we've got a Vampire's Plasma Pistol with limb damage and, jeez, damage resist while reloading. Okay. So Vampires, that's actually really good. If you put a Flamer Barrel on this, Vampires is amazing. Limb Damage, that could actually be really good on that. So if you put the uh, Flamer Barrel on it, Limb Damage, cripple your enemies, heal yourself, not a bad deal. Third star again, uh, no thank you. Next we've got Furious, oh, there we go. This is actually really good. Okay, Furious Handmaid with uh, critical damage and reduced AP cost. Okay, if you mod this as an automatic, Furious is actually a really... Well, I don't, I don't want to say really good. It's actually a, a solid effect. How about that? Uh, critical damage, excellent second star, and uh, reduced AP. That is my favorite third star because I would use this in VAT. So this is this is far and away the best thing that I've gotten so far. Next up, uh, Berserker's Gatling Plasma with bash damage and critical charge. Oh, this is all kinds of terrible. So Gatling Plasma, more than likely you're going to be wearing power armor when you use this. At least hopefully you are because you want to be running stabilized to get that armor penetration. If you're wearing power armor, obviously you're not playing Berserker, so Berserkers and heavy guns, just not a combination that goes together. Bash damage, you're not going to be bashing with this. Uh, critical charge, and you're not going to be using it in VATS, so overall this is just, yeah, all kinds of terrible, and it's heavy. Next we've got an Executioner's Black Powder Pistol, replenish AP with each kill, and reload speed. Well, reload speed is the third star that I would want on this, I wouldn't use, wouldn't use one of these if it didn't have that, actually. Executioner's... It, executioners, I don't think is all that great on this. You tend to one-shot things with this, so executioners really isn't going to do anything for you. Replenish AP with each kill. Uh, again, you're going to one-shot stuff. Probably not staying in vats for long periods of time. So in this particular case, I'm not a fan of that effect. But the third star is good. And we've got a quad single action revolver with last round of damage resist while reloading. Oh, this is so <laughs> this is so bad. Okay, so oh, this is, I like this so much just because it's so terrible. Okay, so single action revolver. Uh, okay, so quad, this loads one bullet at a time. So quad will give you let's see, twenty four rounds. It says yeah. So quad will give you twenty four rounds. So if you actually fire this all the way till the end, which you know if you're gonna do, if you're gonna run quad, you might as well do that, right? You're going to be reloading for a while, and then we have the last round effect combined with quad, which is just super awesome. That means I have to wait. 24 rounds just for a 1 in 4 chance that I'll deal double damage on that one shot. So, super super awesome. And, you know, damage resist while reloading. Again, if you're running this with no armor, that would actually be good because you are going to be reloading for a long time. So, that could actually be good if you're running this as a Berserker. Otherwise, that's a useless third star too. Oh, this is all kinds of bad. I love it. Alright, we're down to three. 
Junkies Gatling laser with limp damage and weapon breaks slower. Okay, well, energy guns in general, I don't know about this one specifically, but energy guns in general tend to break quicker than uh, ballistic guns. So that third star is actually good on something like this. Limb damage, yeah, that could be good. Crippling enemies, I mean, you're just kind of blind fire. I mean, if you're hip firing with this, hitting limbs, crippling them, that could actually be good. Junkies actually could be good as well. If you're playing that way, it's bonus damage up to 50%. So for the right character, this could actually be a good weapon. Final two. Executioner's Cryolator with bash damage and perception. Uh, probably not bashing with this. The damage on it is pretty low. The base, you know, the per shot damage, which means your bash damage is going to be low. Perception, probably not all that useful. Executioner's could be good, but the other two stars aren't. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And the final one. Let's see what we get. Gourmand's 10 millimeter pistol with weapon speed and damage resist while aiming. Third star, not useful. Second star is good. And the first star is a mid-tier effect. So overall, this is a... Uh, so this would be like a starter, gunslinger, or gorilla pistol. So we got a lot of trash, but we actually got some, uh, we got some good stuff here, I think. Anyway, Gourmand's Railway Rifle. It's, it's obviously not top tier, but this is actually really good. So this, uh, this is really good. Uh, this Fierce Short Handmade, probably the best, well, definitely the best roll we got. I mean, that's, that's actually a really good combination of effects. Something that somebody would definitely use. For me, this is the winner, though. This quad single action revolver, just because the combination of effects is so incredibly stupid. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite that we got, just because it's so bad. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.